I'm here in Medjugorje, next to Apparition Hill, which is here. And I'm this, what's your name? Karim. Where are you from? Lebanon. Lebanon. Yes. When did you hear the first time in your life about Medjugorje? Uh, I can't remember when, when was the first time I heard about Medjugorje, but the first time I came to Medjugorje was in 2014. Yes. What did you think when you heard first time about Medjugorje? What feeling did you have? Uh, nothing actually. Uh, the first, guy, uh, first time I came, it was a mixture of feelings. I was hes hesitating and uh, not really excited to come. But when I came and actually went up the hill, uh, everything changed uh, since then. So Why? What happened? I don't know, uh, just uh, a feeling of uh, love, not, uh, not joy, not uh, fear, not sadness, just love. And you said, how often did you come back? Uh, every year and sometimes twice a year. That means in total how much more? Then? This is my eighth visit. Eighth visit. Yes. And what happened in the other visits? Did it repeat that feeling of love? Uh, each visit has its own um, specialties. I mean, uh, each one was different in a way, but each had its own blessings and uh, challenges. How would you describe these blessings to people who don't know about magic oil? I think you cannot describe it. I think each person will have their own experience of Medjugorje. Mm -hmm. And each person will come here because Mary is inviting them. So uh, when they come, they should come with the minimum of expectations. They shouldn't expect anything and let Mary do her job. She will, uh, she will know each one what they need. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, this is amazing. You pray the rosary. You pray the rosary? I used to pray it before. I mean, I grew up in a religious family, mm -hmm. but uh, it was more of like a duty. But mm -hmm. here I learned the, the real meaning of the rosary, the real meaning of Mass, the real meaning of Eucharist. So it's like your mother brought you here to teach you the real meaning of prayer. And, and what is the real meaning? Well, it's not just repeating it with uh, an empty heart. It's praying from the heart, meaning what you're saying. You're communicating with God. So, and each also has their own way of uh, speaking and uh, communicating. And being so often here, what do you think about the five stones? You do the five stones? Or yes, as much as I can. Fasting, you do? Uh, yes, here it's easier because when you're in a group, uh, it's much easier. When I try it in Lebanon, it's the, it's more challenging, yes, especially when uh, fasting on bread and water. So uh, for me, the same. Yeah. Thing. You go so you go daily mass now, or not sure. daily per se, but definitely not missing Sunday's mass, praying the rosary, the confession. Go, yeah. Yes. Reading the Bible. Of course. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for this beautiful interview. Thank you.